comes to town. I feel like I feel like there's always a little bad beef between Utah State and Boise State, so it'll be fun to see what the girls can do out here today. Tips underway. We welcome those on the Mountain West Network joining us here. I'm Aj South and Kyle Branch alongside me. Boise State will be moving from left and right to uh, on the radio dial, or vice versa, on your TV screens. First shot of the day attempted by Bayes. That's off the front of the rim and out of bounds. It'll go back to, or excuse me, not go back to, but go to Utah State, who will have their opening possession here. 9.47 on the game clock, 30 on the shot clock. Aggies' first possession of the game. What are your keys today, Kyle, for the Aggies? We'll get out here with a win. Well, obviously the Aggies need to score points. Uh, they've been outscored in pretty much every game that they've played, uh, and it'll just be key that they can hit their open shots, get open shots, get to the basket, get the easy shots. You we'll know? get Coach Yard's keys here in just a bit. Here's a three in the corner from Kenny Falden Wickheiser. That's a too strong off the right side of the rim. And rebound by Law, and that's going to be outlet now here near side. Again, going from left right on the radio dial. It's Hanson. Hanson on a bounce pass inside. It's going to go out of bounds and back to Utah State. Back to back turnovers for Boise State. Here with 9 16 remaining, and we're still scoreless. Some good defense so far by the Aggies, playing tough, playing strong. On the offensive end, they had that good open shot, and that's all you can ask for. Creep, keep creating open shots, moving the ball around, and uh, keeping themselves in the game here early on. Tamina Robinson on a bounce pass to the right of the wing to Wickstrom. Wickstrom dribbles to the top of the key. We've got a whistle. By the way, officials say Daniel Johnson, Adrian Molina, and Scott Frillman are the officials in today's basketball game. Keys for Coach R and the Aggies. They want to uh, keep that turnover rate. You know, we talked about turnovers here. Uh, they want to keep the turnovers to about 12. Uh, shoot at least, you know, 47% from the field, 35% from three. And hold Boise State in the paint in regards to points. Bill, shut that uh, area down. And now we've got a turnover on the Utah State Aggies. And I believe it's a three-second violation on Ashai Kloffenstein. Boise State with the basketball. They have not attempted a shot yet. Actually, sorry, they have uh, on a uh, missed field goal. It was a missed three, by the way, from Bays. Here's Muse into the lane from right to left. Spins to the left. Off the glass. That's no good. And rebound by Kloffenstein. Here comes the Aggies. Welcome those joining us here on the Mount West Network or on Aggie Radio from uh, Learfield. Here's Tamiya into the lane, right-handed floater. That's good, and that op uh, fires the opening salvo for both teams. 2 nothing. Utah State, eight and a half here, first quarter. That's a great way to get started. Attack the basket, finish strong, don't be afraid. Get that point. Muse's pass is knocked out of bounds by Ashaya, so it stays Boise State ball with 23 on the shot clock, 8.26 on the game clock. Really good defense so far from the Aggies. They're, they're, they're here to play today. A lot. Outlets to base, now inside to Muse, right side off the glass, can't finish. Just a bat too, uh, bit too strong and a much too English for that one to fall <laughs> in. 8 2 nothing, Utah State. Olivia Wickstrom halfway around the world. Loser dribble, gets it back. Now into the lane, throws one up wildly. Contact there, but no call. Here comes the Boise State Broncos. It's Hanson on a skip pass to the corner. I have the three on the way from Mary Kay. That's no good. Too strong off the right side of the rim. A shy with another rebound. Tamir Robinson near side. Former Juco All American. Splits it behind their back from right to left. Now into the lane, short of the hash marks, finds Prima. Prima at the top of the key, now holds. Prima shakes, bakes, spins left, loses her dribble, gets it back. Boise State wants to travel, kick to the corner to Robinson. Robinson on left of the corner, looking for help, gets a sh uh, screen from Ashaya. Halfway around the world, her shot, her layup, excuse me, is attempted and blocked, and should be time on the shot clock. There is one second on the shot clock that belongs to the Aggies. 7.28 in the game clock here, Kyle. Seems like the Aggies were a little... A little off on congested, their spacing. Huh? Yeah, yeah, a little congested there, not quite getting to their spots, and it caused a lot of confusion and ultimately a chaotic shot there at the end. So Tamiya will inbound with one on the shot clock. This is a catch-and-shoot situation for the Aggies. Tamiya looking, looking, fires, Kinley. Nope, can't get rid of it in time. Oh, they say, oh, I was going to say, they didn't hear a whistle there for a little bit, finally get a whistle. Uh, that and was kind of quick. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I guess now, now Utah State Aggie Bench is saying that shot clock came out a little bit quicker than they were expecting. A little trigger happy. <laughs> 2 nothing. Utah State, seven and a half remaining here in the opening frame. Here's Hanson, now top of the key to Mary Kay Nero. Nero on a baseline drill. we got a whistle. It's going to go the other way. It's an offensive foul. It's going to go on Muse. Abby's first foul. Team's second foul. With 7-17 on the game clock. Still a 2 nothing game here. Not wasting any time. Boise State immediately brings in a sub as checking out is Abby Muse. And checking in. Not see who that was. Simpson. That was, Mandy Simpson. Yeah, Mandy number Simpson. three. Here's a Shia. Right into the lane. Ref of the lane. 
throws one up wildly and draws a foul. That's going to go on Lalotte. And that's a third personal foul on Boise State. Still 7.05 remaining. Again, in women's basketball, five fouls, and you go to the bonus. No. It's going to send a shot to the line and shoot a couple of freebies. I like how aggressive they're being on offense. Attack the players, draw some fouls, get some easy points from the stripe. By the way, checking in was Mandy Simpson, number three, six one graduate at a Boise Idaho transfer from Oklahoma. First one is good, 3 nothing ball game, 7.05 remaining here in the opening frame. Ashaya, second of two, spins the ball, bends, extends, releases, and hits. 4 nothing ball game, Boise State basketball. Here's Bays, top of the key, gives to Simpson, back to Bays. Bays now inside to lot. draws contact, her layup is no good, too strong. Rebound by Utah State. Another good defensive possession, standing strong. Here's Tamia. Thinks about a three things better over from the right of the wing. Hands to Shia. Takes it back. Now into the lane. Spins to the right. Into the paint. Fadeaway jumper. Toilet rolls in. Six nothing lead for Utah State. Six and a half remaining here in the opening frame. Hansen, right of the wing, being guarded by Tamia. Right in front of us. On a screen from a lot. Left to the hip. Dosey does with it. Now left of the wing is Simpson. Simpson on a bounce pass to a backdoor cut to Bays. Has a rip jump ball and is. He's going to go back to Utah State now. 6 nothing ball game, 6-24 remaining in the first quarter. Good defense so far from the Utah State Aggies. Very good defense. I'm very impressed with, with how they're playing and how they're sucking in to the person who has the ball and just closing in. Not letting Boise State really get any good shots or open shots. All of them have been contested or, or forced or anything like that. Utah State's playing very well on defense. And really the rhythm's also been a problem for Boise State so far early here. Here's Tamia Robinson, right of the hash mark, short of the right elbow. Top of the key is Prima. Primo holding, holding. Now puts the dribble down. Hands off to Fit Kinley. We got a illegal screen. One of those pick plays almost in football that you see from two receivers. Yeah. And it goes on Prima. And uh, that will now bring in Abby Wall to check in. And Primo's going to check out. Abby Wall, the graduate forward out of Santa Claus, Indiana, checks into the ball game. Steal it. 6 0 ball game. 6 10 remaining in the opening frame. Hansen. Comes across the timeline, being guarded by Tamia Robinson. Hanson dribbles this one out of bounds. They're going to say knocked out by Tamia. It's going to remain Boise State basketball. 6.03 remaining. Possession arrow, by the way, favors Boise State. Hanson on the inbounds catch. Now right of the wing, high above the arc, on a bounce pass to uh, Bays. Bays, screen from Simpson, dribbles to the top of the key. Now near side, here's a three. Front of the rim, no good. A shy for another rebound. Hanson on the attempt for a three. By the way, Shia so far has got four boards here early in the get going. Tamia takes a three left of the wing. Back rim, no good. Leah Wickstrom tries to fight for a rebound. Instead, Bays wins the battle. I like that. I like that. Go after every shot. Follow your shot. Try to get the offensive board. Try to get another shot. Here's Simpson. Now gives to Pasco, by the way, who's checked in. And we've got a, ooh, Olivia Wickstrom. A tough collision with Hole, by the way, who's also checked in. And the victim of the foul is going to be Olivia Wickstrom. Chris Oliva is going to check in for the Aggies here. And she will do so for Kinley. Yes, Vault of Woodkaiser. So Trista Hole is checked in, a 6'2 sophomore out of Yakima, Washington. Played her ball at LaSalle High School. Right in front of us is Maya Hansen. Now it's Simpson. Simpson. Hands to Bay. She'll take a deep left wing three. Back rim, no good. Ball carries into the hands of Bay. She'll take a jumper just below the nail. That's too short, no good. And Oliva on the rebound. Boise State struggling to start here in regards to shooting. 0 for 7. Bounce pass to Abby Wall. Right of the block. Now it's Oliva in the corner. Oliva stuck. Needs to dribble out of traffic. Does so. Oliva kicked to the corner. Olivia whips from pump. Fakes a three. Dribbles towards the baseline. Now she's stuck. Needs some help. Tamia moves towards her and grabs a catch. We got a uh, foul. And that's going to go on hold. That'll be her first, and that's a team. Is that fourth foul? And the Broncos are one away from being in the bonus, and the coaches right now <laughs> for Boise State are not entirely thrilled with the way the fouls are being called. But early in the get-going, is still 6 nothing Utah State. 4.54 remaining here in the opening frame on the Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield. Welcome back to the D. Glenn Smith Spectrum here on Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield, Aggie Radio, and uh, the Mountain West Network. Kyle Branch and Maje Salveson. Big thanks to Jane back in the studio for Aggie Radio, and big thanks to Jake Lincoln Taylor doing the help for us across the uh, pond in regards to the stream and the broadcast on the Mountain West Network. Aggies lead at 6-0 here, and Abby Wall in the corner. Aggies have possession of the basketball. Tamia high above the arc, right of the wing. Takes an aggressive dribble into the lane, across the baseline. Her pass intended for Olivia is picked off by Hansen. Here comes the Boise State Broncos. Outlet near side now to Pasco. Pasco 
gives to Simpson. Now the Boise State offense will run here. The direction of, uh, by the way, the head coach, Gordy Presnell. He's got an impressive resume. We'll get to that here later on in the broadcast. Here's a three in the corner, wide open. No good from Hanson. We got a foul. Ooh, and we got an all. It is an off. Foul's going to go on a hole as uh, she's battling with Abby Wall there. And that's going to be, I believe, a whole second foul. Yeah, oftentimes you just get tangled up there when you're going for the rebound, and arms and legs can get all tangled. And Anna Ossie, by the way, has checked in for the Boise State Broncos, and as has Tatum Thompson, the freshman out of Woodvale, Washington, 6-1. Ossie played a majority of min minutes last year on the off coming off the bench for Boise State, 5'8", junior out of Scottsdale, Arizona. First free throw from Abby's good, and it's a 7 nothing ball game. That ends a 2-18 scoring drought for the Aggies, but even a longer scoring drought so far for the Broncos, who are getting good looks, but are just not able to make them yet, Kyle. Yeah, well, Utah State's just playing a really good, tight defense. Uh, the last possession, they had a double team, and they're just closing down on players and shooters and not letting Boise really get any good shots. Near side is Simpson. Now it's Osley being battled by Oliva. Simpson to the top of the key. Abby Wall and Simpson battling at the block in the paint below. Here's Bays on a dribble towards the baseline, left to right. Now a bounce pass back for three on the way. Air ball no good in Abby Wall's hands. That three from Thompson, and Boise is 0 of 10 to start this game. Ice cold. Olivia Wickstrom dribbles to the top of the now. Dell to the left side, dribbles to the left hand to the left. That's too strong, no good. Boy, created the space, just couldn't finish the layup. Rebound by Thompson. Here comes Boise State. Bays, Thompson. Uh, that's a three from... Excuse me, that's a three from Pascal. That's no good, and we got a foul. And that's going to go on Utah State battling below. Still an 8 nothing ball game, and we are 3.33 left in the first quarter. It's kind of a missed opportunity by Boise State. Uh, Utah State player had fallen down. They had the numbers. Wide open three just didn't fall for the Broncos. Hanson, the lone starter in for the Boise State Broncos. Inbounds this one to Thompson. Thompson's short jumper is good, and finally Boise State's on the board. 8-2 to two with 3.27 remaining here in the first quarter. Aggie's not shooting much better, to be honest with you. 2 of 7 from the field, 0 of 2 from the 3. Here's a bounce pass to Mason Kimball, who's checked in right at the elbow. Now Abby Wall. Wall, Kimball, bounce pass to Robinson. Robinson, Tamia, into the lane, reverse layup. Good with the right hand. She wasn't even looking no. at the basket. That was a no-look shot. I, that was impressive. I, that's incredible. Three minutes left, 10 to Utah State. Here's a backdoor pass. Nice pass to Pasco. She can't finish the layup. Mason taps her all the way to the right side to Wickstrom. Wickstrom into the lane. Takes a pop, stop, shot. And that's too strong. No good. Oliva able to chase down the rebound. She clears out space. Now gives to Tamia. Tamia into the lane. Left side. Her reverse layup. No good. Hits the ground hard. Boy, stay on the rebound. It's Osley. Osley wants to around the far side. Now stops Pirouettes with the right hand to dribble. Splits it to the left. Now left of the wing. Hands to Pasca. She'll take a deep left wing three. That's back rim. No good. Oliva able to chase down the rebound, and the reaching foul is going to go in on Simpson. And that's her first foul. I about said second. Allie Fraley, the freshman, is going to check in, as will Ashaya. She'll make her return back in. And Allie Heckman will check in for Boise State, as does Abby Muse. And now Muse has got to be careful. She does got two fouls here. And let's see here. Nally Pascal checks out, as does Simpson, Mandy Simpson. She plays some good minutes for Boise so far. Mary Kay Narrow checks in for Maya Hansen. We will take a couple free throws now. First one is up and good. 11 to 2 with 2.25 remaining. Let me repeat that. 11 to 2 with 2.25 remaining. I don't think Utah State could have asked for a better start. No, you're absolutely right. Second one is good from Oliva, and she'll check out. Kinley Falls of Wickheiser checks in. Nice minutes from Oliva there. Couple of boards, and now two freebies. And it's a 12-2 ball game, 2.25 remaining. Here's Mary Kay. Brings it across timeline with no hesitancy. Left of the wing. Splits it to her right-handed dribble. Now looking inside to Muse. Gets it to her right of the block. Top of the key here on a three is Heckman. No good. Ball tipped around into Wickstrom's hands. Here comes the Aggies up 10 right now, 12-2. Wickstrom on the right of the wing. Gets a screen from Ashaya. Now finds Kimmel in the corner. Kimmel on a three. Oh, no, air balls it. Fraley on the rebound. Stripped away. Out of bounds. Goes back to Boise State. 
offensively, I feel like you're getting good ball movement from Utah State so far, Kyle. Yeah, I would agree. Passing the ball around, trying to trying to move and get, get the open shot. I mean, you're not going to score if you're all standing in the same place. Mary Kay, a bounce pass to the top of the key to Heckman. Heckman now holds, finds Muse. Muse. Now to Thompson. Thompson's three-pointer is no good. Mary Kay's able to chase it down right out of the wing. Her layup off the glass, good. The extra hustle play for Mary Kay Nero gets a bucket, and it's a 12-4 ball game with 90 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Utah State with the lead. Left to the wing is Kinley. Kinley thinks about a three. Sees a screen, goes the opposite way. Dribbles towards the baseline, fires back to Ashai. Still 16 on the shot clock. Ashai into the lane right side, and we got a charge. Oh, they're going to call that. Hmm. All right. Ashaya's first foul. And they'll get the ball back to Boise State. Still a 12-4 ball game. Utah State leading, one away remaining. Mary Kay, right side. Finds Thompson. Thompson, short jumper above the nail. Toy Bowl's in and out. Ball tipped around into Ossie's hands. Ossie's now got it. Fights for uh, position of it. Throws a baseline pass. Is able to somehow get it to Heckman, who steps out of bounds on the line. Yes. That was a heck of a pass from the baseline to the corner, though. Yeah. Ossie, I don't know how she got I'm, it there. I'm not sure how it got there. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to be lucky than... Uh, than good. That gets you a <laughs> strike in bowling, that's for sure. <laughs> Here's Fault of Wickheiser, a three. No, too strong off the right side of the rim. Mary Kay on the rebound. She doesn't waste any time getting across the timeline. Nearly lose the dribble, gets it back. Nice bounce pass to Muse off the glass. Good in the foul. Aggies just lost track of her left wide open. Easy layup. Draws the contact. 12-6 ball game, 38 seconds <coughs> remaining in the first quarter. And a chance to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way for the, Ag or for the Broncos. As Muse will go to line to shoot one free throw. Falls of Wickheiser checks back out, and now Tamir Robinson checks in. So you got Thompson, Heckman, Nero, Osley, Muse for the Broncos. As, by the way, that free throw is good, 12-7 now. They have raised a 10-point deficit, cut it in half to 12-7. And for the Aggies, Robinson, Wickstrom, Kimball, Fraley, Klofenstein. And this one's too tall for too tall Jones. Bounces right into Chase Hoffman's hands here. Boise State putting a little pressure, a little press on the Aggies, and frankly, I don't think the Aggies were quite ready for it. Aggies are in a no field goal drought of 239, and one of their last seven from the field. Aussie on the right of the wing. Now it's Thompson. Boise State, Boise State starting to find some rhythm offensively here. Mary Kay will hold it with 17 on the game clock. No shot clock necessary, folks. Mary Kay splits that drill from left to right hand. Now to the right of the wing. Still eight on the game clock, please. Plenty of time to work for the Broncos. Top of the key. Here's a three. That's from Heckman. That's front of the rim. No good. Tamia on the rebound, and she will run the clock out. Yep. And after one quarter of play, Aggies, who are up by 10, 12 to 2, now lead at 12 to 7. As we go into the second quarter of Mount West Conference Action Basketball here on the Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield. And we got a we got a foul here. That's gonna go on. That's the one Klopfenstein, first, second, and Prima Chell's going to have to check in for Ashaya. Numbers from the first quarter are not pretty, really, for either side, let's be honest. Boise State 3 at 20 from the field, uh, 0 of 11 from 3. Meanwhile, 3 at 12 and 0 of 4 for the Aggies. Osley, right of the wing. Now top of the keys, Mary Kay on a screen from Lalot. Lalot on a bounce pass, can't hold on to it. Ball's on the ground, Buddy's on the ground. Prima, Lalot fighting for it, and we've got a jump ball. It's going to stay. Nope, it's going to go back to Utah State. It is. Good hustle there. Hustle plays, I think, are underrated. Hey, give me your first uh, quarter takeaways from what you saw from both teams, will you? Yeah. Uh, so I, something I really like from Utah State is on the defensive boards, they would box out. Uh, there was a couple times where Boise State got in there and got the rebound. But for the most part, Utah State's really getting the defensive board, which is under underlooked a lot of the times getting yourself the ball back and not letting Boise State get a second shot. Here's a leave on a right, left of center three, fly right of the rim, no good. Contact, no call. Mary Kay on the rebound. Here she comes, screaming across the timeline. Bounce pass inside to Muse, off the glass. That's good. That was a mismatch all the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Finding that mismatch, getting the easy bucket. I tell you what, Mary Kay has some great vision in regards to how fast she moves. She can see the court really well. Tamita Robinson off the glass. Good. Good from the guard. That's 14 9 ball game. Nine minutes exactly remaining here in the uh, second quarter, first half. Aggie's got to keep doing that. They 
keep attacking the basket, and if you don't get a shot, at least you'll get a foul, and you'll at least keep it going. Mary Kay Good can't there. finish the layup. Block. May get to back, though. Stolen away by Mary Kay and finishes the layup. That was just a heads-up play a there by Mary play. Kay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Pickpocket. Thank you very much. Yeah, she'll happily take that <laughs> one. Tamia sees a double. Now dribbles in the traffic. Needs help. Finds Prima. Prima going to reset. Turn and shovel to Tamia Robinson. Tamia will pull back with the dribble with 13 on the shot clock. 8.23 on the game clock. Finds Prima. Prima at the top of the key. Someone's got to do something here. Yeah. Prima, right side, spins to the left, into the paint. Fadeaway jumper. That's no good. Left side of the backboard. Broncos trail by 3, 14, 11. Mary Kay, Muse into the lane. Throws one up, no good. Tipped out of bounds by Mason Kimball. Go back to Boise State with 23 on the shot clock. Well, she was full steam ahead into the lane, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mary Kay's going to inbound from underneath the baseline. Finds a lot back to Mary Kay. Now it's Muse underneath the arc straight away. Inside a little lot, turns off the glass, good. Boise State really going down to their paint players. They're getting a lot of buckets down there. They are on an 11-2 run. It was a 12-2 ball game at one point for Utah State. And going back to the first quarter, 11-2 now on the run. 14-13, Utah State with 7.45 remaining. Bounce pass to Mason Kimball. Mason holds, lobs inside to Fraley. Fraley turns off the glass. Good. Nice lob. Nice catch. Very good. Very good pass. Good eyes to find the open guy, open girl under the basket. Here's Heckman on a jumper. That's good. Waste no time getting across. 16-15. Utah State, seven and a half remaining. Pace starting to pick up here, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. Boise's really bringing the pace, really trying to figure out how they can get their offense going. Tamia, dribble handoff to Fraley. Now left side to Prima. Thinks about a three. Down to the right of the lane. Throws went up. Off the glass. Wow. Got it to go. How in the wow. world? Wow. A couple circus shots here early in this game. Ice cream scoop is good. Now here's a floater. That's good. And I'm telling you right now, Boise State's not wasting any time They're getting really their offense. They're really pushing the tempo. 18-17, 7.04 remaining. We got a timeout from Coach Yard. And is it a 30? It is a 30, so we'll keep it here. That fast-paced offense is picking up. Actually, it's going to go into immediate, so let's go ahead and take it as well. Uh, it's the first timeout of the quarter. Uh, well, so we'll take a timeout right now. Utah State tra or leads at 18-17, 7.04 remaining here in the first half. On the Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield. Welcome back to the D. Glenn Smith Spectrum in Logan, Utah. 18-17, your score right now. Utah State leads it with seven minutes remaining in the second quarter. Aggies with possession of the ball. Olivia Wickstrom on the right of the wing. High top of the arc is Prima. Now left of the wing is Tamia Robinson on a screen. Splits it behind the back from right to left. Into the corner is Abby Wall. Wall. Now Prima. Into the lane. Throws one up. Draws contact somehow. That foul's going to go on Heckman. That's going to send Prima to the line. Honestly, that shot didn't have much of a chance, but that, that's just what you got to do. You got to drive to the basket. You got to try to get the foul and get points somehow, some way. Prima at the line to shoot a couple of freebies. By the way, Prima wants to say hi to a couple people. Uh, she wants to say hi to her high school coach, Eric Gray, her family, mom and dad. She's got three nephews, one niece. Says hello to them, hugs and kisses you all. Hopes you're all well. 1917, first free throw is good from Prima. Second one. Oh, front of the rim, short up. Remains a two-point ball game. 6.44 remaining in the second quarter. Mary Kay right in front of us, being guarded by Olivia. Now to the top of the key. Aussie on the right side, inside a lot. Stripped away by Tamia, stolen by Tamia. Good defense there, good double team. Tamia Robinson into the lane, throws one up, can't get it to go. We've got a late whistle, that's going to go on a lot. I think initially she blocked it, but also hit, kind of hit her with her body, so she draws the foul there. Gordy Press now is wanting some uh, explanation on a couple of these calls. <laughs> Not entirely thrilled. Now he says he understands. <laughs> but Gordy Press now, what an incredible resume he has. He is uh, he picked up his 114th win uh, on December 31st. That ties Don Flanagan for third most in conference history. Um, and speaking of Gordy, he also actually speaking to the team. They have 798 wins all time. The Boise State women's basketball program needs just two wins to reach 800. They have an all-time record of 798 and 631. Gordy Presnell, by the way, 18th season as the head coach of the Boise State Broncos. Free throws good, makes it a four-point game. 21-17, Utah State leads it. Tamir Robinson now has got 10 points. She's in double figs already. 
Heckman, top of the key. Heckman looking for help. Nearly throws this one away, does. Tamina Robinson on back-to-back -back positions, gets a steal, and ooh. Now she's limping, not sure what happened there. Splits it between the legs, now goes into the lane, pulls up on a jumper, that's good. She's limping and she still knocks down the bucket. <laughs> she, she looks at Coach Jar and she says, I need a sub. Natalie Fraley's gonna check in here. Aggies really can't afford to have any more injuries. They're already short-handed. Here's Muse on a nice kick to the corner. Heckman for three, that's no good. Mary Kate chases down a rebound, has it knocked out of bounds, goes back to the Broncos. And to Mia, I'm not sure what it was that she aggravated there. She goes to the bench and Jen Berg will take a look at her. Mary Kay's gonna inbound for the Broncos who trail at 23-17, 5.45 remaining in the second quarter. Muse looking left of the lane is Mary Kay. Mary Kay dribbles into Prima, now back out. Osley thinks about a three. Now uh, finds Mary Kay, seven on the shot clock. Inside to Muse, gotta reach in the cookie jar. That's gonna go on Wickstrom. Gotta call it both ways, yep. all you, you do. It's, it's yeah. a good call by Scott yeah. Fruling. Just a little too aggressive there, hit the hand, called for foul. So 20 on the shot clock now, that's unfortunate because there was six on the shot clock for Boise State on that previous possession. Here's Bays, Bays into the lane, right handed floater, shorts it, Prima Chellis on the rebound. Prima outlets near side of Fraley, here come the Aggies, now it's Olivia Wickstrom. Olivia gets a screen from Prima. Right-handed dribble into the lane, throws one up and is blocked by Mary Kay, back to the Broncos. Olivia's gotta be able to pick her head up when she's dribbling. She's just, it's a head down yeah. thing, and she's got gals open. You can't see where you're going if your head's on the ground. 23-17, Utah State, 5-15 remaining in the second quarter. Six turnovers for the Aggies, seven on the Bro Boise State Broncos. Top of the key is base. Muse, now Mary Kay. Bounce pass inside to I apologize, I can see there, Simpson. Here's a three left of the wing from Bays. That's good, that's a huge one. Force a turnover, get three on the other side. That's how it works, 23-20, Utah State, 450 remaining in the second quarter. Fraley pounding the dribble on the logo. Now bounce pass to Olivia, right of the wing, looking for Abby, can't get it to her, so top of the key is Prima. She'll take a straightaway three, right side of the backboard, not even close. Ostley on the rebound. Mary Kay, far side, into the corner to Bays. And her pass in, into the entry is tipped away, into Ostley's hands, baseline pass again to Bays. Bays into the corner, dribbles into the lane, finds Muse. Muse puts up a floater, that's no good. Ball tipped out of bounds. Stays with Boise State with 13 on the shot clock. Man, Osley, I have no idea how she's getting that across baseline. That I, is impressive. That, that's the second time today <laughs> that she's been falling out of bounds and she throws it to the corner. Perfect pass. It's incredible. Here's Bays on a catch and shoot three. Way short, no good air ball. Fraley on the rebound. Outlets near side to Oliva. Oliva from left to right. Into the lane. Spins to the left. Off the glass. No. Coach Jard wants a foul. They're not going to get the call. Here's Mary Kay into the corner to Osley. Osley now pulls up on the right wing three. Looks good. It's good. 23 all now, 348 remaining here in the second quarter. Boy, back and forth we go now, and the Aggies are now in a, good, a scoring drought of 213 as Boise State's put on a 6 0 run over the last one minute and five seconds. Got a kick ball here from Mary Kay. That's going to go back to the Aggies, 335 remaining again, 23 23. I think the Aggies here just need to, to take a breath, calm down, just get, yes. just get an easy basket, no need to rush anything. We're still very much in this game. It's a tied game. We're playing well. Ooh, boy. No backcourt violation. That might have been a backcourt violation a second time. Prima Chellis now on the dribble. Near side, into the lane. Throws it up, and it's blocked by Muse. Nine on the shot clock. Tamir Robinson checks in. Olivia Wickstrom will check out. And Tamia. Who, by the way, folks call Mimi here, I found out. I have no idea why I don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, inbound. Looking for Fraley, not there. Needs to get rid of this. Does the wall at the top of the key, right at the center of the arc. Tamiya on a dribble, spins to the right. Throws one up wildly, that's no good. Ball bounces into the hands of Mary Kay. Mary Kay screams across Boise the Boise State line. has numbers. Yeah, no one's picked her up. Now to Ossie in the corner. Ossie travels. It's kind of a lucky break there for the Aggies. It is. Hello. 
The Aggies have possession of the ball. Mason Kimball's checked in. Primachelis is checked out. So for the Broncos, Simpson, Bays, Nero, Osley, and Muse. Robinson, Oliva, Kimball, Fraley, Wall for the Aggies. During a drought of score, excuse me, scoring drought of three minutes. Over the last five from the field. Kimball stops into the lane. Now needs help. Throws it up off the glass. Caught it to go. Kimball gets her first point to the game, and it's a 25-23 ball game. 2.50 remaining in the first half. Austin, right of the wing, being harassed by Oliva. Top of the key, here's Bays for three. Bays, back rim no good. No one picks up Simpson off for the offensive rebound. She puts it up and in. You got to box out. You got to put a body on a body. Tied at 25, all 2.30 remaining in the first half. Mia, hands off to Oliva. Now Wall on a dribble. Hands off to Fraley. Fraley into the lane. Wall. Finds Tamiya, 10 on the shot clock. Tamiya Robinson, 7, picks it up with 6. Inside the wall with 4. Wall puts it up, up, and good. I think Austin tried to sell that one. Yeah. Didn't work, and yeah. uh, Daniel Johnson doesn't call it, and it's a 27-25 ball, given her two remaining. It's a good, uh, good pass down low and mismatch. you got to find those mismatches, and Mary that's why Kay. you keep your head up. Mary Kay tries to grab this one. It's too, uh, too wide of her, and so Robinson on the pick and the steal. Tamiya into lane, right side. Holds, fires the wall, jumper just above the nail, no good. Oliva on the rebound, reverse layup, can't get it to go. Osley able to corral the rebound, and fires over to Mary Kay. A little bit of helter-skelter ball here. Here's base, top of the key to Simpson, now it's Mary Kay. Both teams look exhausted right now with yeah. 123 remaining here in the first half. Inside to Muse, Muse goes to lay it up and it draws the foul on Mason Kimball. She'll go to shoot two. Yeah, it's, it's been go, go, go. Players got their hands on their hips and breathing hard. It's, the, it's been very up, 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 upbeat. Mary Kay's going to check out for the Broncos. Chris Oliva's going to check out as well for the Aggies. Kenley Fault of Wick Kaiser checks in for the Aggies. And Hanson is checked in for the Broncos. Now you got Prima checking in. Abby Wall checking out. Simpson checking out. And Thompson, or excuse me, Maya Hanson checking in. Did they get those right? Or is it Thompson that just checked in? Sorry, Thompson checked in. My bad. First free throw was good from Muse, who's got five points, or excuse me, six points on two of six shooting from the field, and now two of two at the line. Muse, fans extends releases, and in and out, no good. 118 on the clock, it's a 27 26 lead for Utah State here in the second quarter. Robinson, right of the wing. Looks, fires to Mason. Mason on the right of the block. Spins to the right. Off the glass. That's too strong. No good. Ball tipped around. Fraley is able to grab the rebound. Nope, got a jump ball. Oop, oh, let's, let's, let's go easy there. Now it's going to go back to Boise State. Good hustle, though. Try, yeah. Trying to get the board. Trying to fight for it. Uh, th there's true grit in these girls. They're, they're really playing to win this one. And here comes the Broncos. Lee, or excuse me, trailing it by one, 27-26. And, ooh, got a reach in the cookie jar. That's going to go against Utah State. Specifically, that's going to go on Kimball as Bates was trying to split the double team. 53 seconds remaining, 27-26. Hanson will inbound for the Broncos in the baseline. Looking, now fires to Muse. Muse hold, have, hand back to Bates. Not Bates, excuse me, Hanson. Hanson into the lane, throws one up. Nice defense by Prima and into the hands of Tamiya. Tamiya near side, 40 on the game clock, 25 on the shot clock. Tamiya, Mason. And into Prima. Prima off the block, can't get it to go. Gets it back off the glass, good. Way to stay with it. 29-26 Utah State, 23 on the game clock. No shot clock necessary to finish off the first half. Osley. Top of the key is Thompson. Thompson now holding. Gives to Hanson. Hanson resets with the offense with nine on the game clock. Eight, seven. Hanson on a screen from Thompson. Back to Thompson. Top of the key. Three, two in the corner. Osley for the three. Got it with the buzzer. Osley knocks down a three. 29 all. Going into the locker room. Great ball game offensively from both squads. Yeah, it's been it's been lights out from both teams, playing hard, scoring a lot. 
Pace, been a fun first half. Pace picked up quite a bit too, didn't it? Absolutely. Aggies Broncos 29 all after Osley hits a three at the buzzer. And we will take a break, come back with some first half numbers and some breakdown thoughts of that first half here on the Aggie Sports Radio Network from their field. Free throw line. 24 boards, 8 assists, and 9 turnovers. 29 all right now is uh, your score here at the break. Um, bench points, by the way, for Boise State at 14. Points in the paint for Boise State, 14. A couple of those on offensive rebounds, which, again, they got 8 rebounds. Second chance points, 10 rebounds, or 10 points. And that's something, that, again, Coach R talked about limiting their points in the paint and limiting their offensive rebounding. Glad you agree with me. That's awesome. <laughs> um, defensive rebound, 17-16, Utah State. Uh, again, 10-2 in second chance points, 14-10 for Boise State in bench points, and 18-14 in points in the paint for Utah State. Uh, four blocks from Boise State to the Aggies, three, and five steals from the Aggies to the Boise State, one. Again, eight assists from Boise State to the uh, two assists from Utah State. All right, we'll take a lengthy break here, and then we'll come back and we'll get you ready. In fact, we'll actually go back and review Mount West women's basketball around the Mountain West map, uh, both scores and standings, and then get you ready for the second half. It's all coming up on the Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield. Welcome back on the Mountain West Network, Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield and Aggie Radio as well. Big thanks to Jake Link and Taylor helping us out across the pond over there from the Mountain West Network stream, and to... Jaden, who uh, is helping us out on the board, sliding the ones and twos, creating the magic for the radio station. Again, don't forget, folks, for those looking for the Utah State Winter Sports Magazine, courtesy of the Utah Statesman, uh, you can get them wherever you can find them or around the university, right? Wonderful job. They actually saw a nice little page to page picture of Tamir Robinson, the uh, transfer Juco guard from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, find those wherever you can around campus. Uh, Utah Statesman does a wonderful job in regards to their winter sports previews and other great articles. Do you write for the Statesman as well? Or uh, I don't. I don't. You don't dab into the writing, the poetry? I mean, I, I, I have in the past uh, for Snow College. I, I wrote for their newspaper. you got to write some poetry, man. Poetry, okay. I, I, I would definitely, and I should, pick up the magazine no matter what, but I would definitely pick it up to read some poetry from you. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll, You're like, I'll, no, I'll, I'll don't. Submit, don't a you dare ever request that. <laughs> and don't you ever mention, mention that to John Sorey. <laughs> got it, got it. We're good. Hey, uh, one minute left here before we get you ready for the second half. Aggies, Broncos here. What do you want to see from the Aggies to get out of here with a win? Well, I, I, I want the Aggies to, to create more shots. As, as you mentioned before, only two assists on ten made baskets. Uh, I mean, you can only do it by yourself for so long. you got to create shots, set screens, get open, get the best look. Uh, I also want them to box out on defense. Uh, too many second chance points for the Boise State Broncos. They had 10 compared to Utah State's only two. And then also limit turnovers. I know we've talked about that throughout the season. And, and then stay aggressive. Uh, it was a good aggressive first half. I like the defense. I like uh, the push. Uh, I like the fight. Uh, and the Aggies are, are, are more than capable of, of, of hanging in this one and uh, staying strong for the second half. Boise State dressed in the all blacks, blue numbers, orange trim on the letters, numbers, tops, and bottoms. Ags in the all whites, blue numbers, blue trim on the tops and bottoms. And I believe Daniel Johnson over here having a discussion with the scores table. Not sure what's going on. Buzzard is sounded. Daniel Johnson's still over here. Now she'll separate from the scores table. Grab the game ball, and I believe possession belongs to Utah State. It does. Tamir Robinson, Prima Cellis, Olivia Wickstrom, Ashaya Klopfenstein, and Kinley Fox of Wickheiser on the court for the Aggies. And for Boise State, Mary Kay Nero, Dania, or excuse me, Danny Bays, Abby Muse, Elodie Lalotte, and I'm missing one more. Who am I missing over there? Help me. There we go. Mighty Hanson, I apologize. Here's Olivia Wickstrom, three in and out. No good. Boy, just a little bit too soft. Can't get it to go. Boise State trying to take their first lead of the game. Here's Mary Kay, left of the wing. Thinks about a three, now dribbles in. A bounce pass to Abby Muse. Can be fought for. We got eight. Ooh, they're going to call a reach and foul on Ashaya. And that will go Ashaya. Her first personal, team first foul here in the, actually, no, sorry, second personal, right? No, third. That's I her apologize. Third, her third foul in this game. Team first foul third quarter first foul as well. 
Here's Bays on a bounce pass to Muse. Knocked away, ball on the ground, and nearly stripped out of bounds. Instead, Bays able to chase it down. Top of the key is Hansen, being guarded by Tamiya. On a screen from Muse, left side, and also reject the screen, go to the left. Tries a kick out pass to the corner, stolen by Olivia Wickstrom. Good Olivia, defense there. Absolutely, Olivia on the near side. Left to right on the radio dial, vice versa on your screens. Dribbles to the top of the key. Now needs help. Skip point or skip pass to the corner now or Kinley. Tamiya. High above the arc. Dribbles into the lane. Tries to lay one up and it's out of bounds. Going back to the Aggies. I didn't see who he was blocked away by, by the way. Uh, Abby Muse, Thank number you. 33, knocked it out. By the way, Muse and blocks is something synonymous with each other. <laughs> We're going to get to her little record book in regards to blocks here in just a moment. She's pretty good at those. Oh, isn't my she? goodness. <laughs> She's setting some records. And by the way, we're talking nationally too. She's incredible. Ashaya to Kinley. Three in the corner. There yes. It is. Kinley faulted with Kaiser. Knocks down a three. It's a 32 29 Utah State lead. 8.50 remaining in the third quarter. Great pass there. Great shovel. Good offensive execution, Kyle. Yeah, there's an assist right there. Starting out strong. Narrow. Way tight the arc. And now here is a three from Hansen. Matches it. Hansen scoots free on the left of the wing. Knocks down a triple. Tied at 32. Eight and a half remaining. Third quarter. Robinson dribbles into the lane, left side. Now to the right, in the paint, needs some help. Stuck in her uh, mud there, gives to Wickstrom, left side to Ashaya. Above the arc, Ashaya directing traffic. Now inside to Wickstrom, tipped away by Mary Kay. Can we are out of bounds? Should go back to Aggies, yes, and it will. Nine on the shot clock, 8.15 on the game clock. Those law passes are tough to make. Yeah, yeah, they're a little dangerous, a little risky. I'd like to see a better pass there. Kinley inbounded from Kitty Corner of the bench. Robinson inside to Ashaya is bummed. We got a yeah. foul, yes. And that's going to go on Lala. And for Lala, that is her third foul. It is. Yep. That's third huge. Foul. And I thought Abby Muse had two fouls. She actually has one. Kinley inbounds to Prima. Prima, nice ball fake inside off the glass. Good. Beautiful. Off the right of the baseline. Beautiful ball fake. Play action with Kinley. Able to lay it up and in, 34-32, 8.02 remaining here in the third quarter. Here's Mary Kay, left of the wing on a screen from Muse. Instead, he gives it a lot, top of the key. Now it's Bays. Bays into the lane, left-handed dribble. Throws one up off the glass, can't get it to go. Box it out, it's Ashaya. Oh, my goodness gracious, they're going to call a foul on Ashaya. That's going to be her fourth foul. She's going to probably need to come out, and Abby Walls going to have to check in. Oh, that's big. Yeah, that is huge. Two quick fouls here in the third quarter. Ashaya walks by Danielle Johnson and asks exactly what she's doing. I believe they're saying that she's she's moving when she's boxing out. Coach gives her a high five. And Hansen checks in, or excuse me, inbounds in. Now near side is Bays, and her pass is picked off easily by Tamir Robinson. To me, I believe he's got four steals. I'll have to look at that here in just a moment. And we got a off, they got a foul. And that's going to go on Simpson. That's her second foul. Osley's going to check in. And Osley's played some good minutes for the Broncos coming off the bench. Bays checks out. Tamiya will inbound on the baseline. Finds Olivia. That's a three. You're left of the wing. Nope, left side of the rim. Abby Wall's able to chase it. You know, chase it down. Tries to save it. Does it right directly to Abby Muse. Hanson, nice pass. Finds Simpson off the glass. Good. Boise State. Had the numbers, find the open woman, put it in. 34 all here, 720 remaining in the third quarter. Tamina Robinson pounds a dribble, high above the arc, directly across from the logo. Now dribbles into the lane right side. Tamia pump fake, her layup is too strong. Off the left side, rebounded by Boise State. Here comes Hansen. Hansen in the corner. Now entry pass to Muse. Nice kick to Ossie. That's a three from the right corner. It is good. And Boyce has got their first lead of the game, 37-34, 6.55 remaining in the third quarter. Do not want Aussie to get going in rhythm if you're the Aggies. No, she's got a good stroke. That time left wide open in the corner. No doubt she's going to make that. Bounce pass to Abby Wall. Abby now holds, finds Wickheiser. Kinley, right-handed dribble, back to Wall, thinks about a three, now goes into the lane, gives to Prima. Prima holds, seven on the shot clock. Someone's got to fire this away. Five, four, Tamiya into lane with three. Needs to lay this one up. Shovels it away. Shot clock violation. Got to take a shot when you got yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. You got to take the open shot because uh, 
I don't know. You just got to take open shots when you get them, you know. Sometimes it's far and few between. And that time the Aggies just held the ball a little too long and cost them. Mason Kimball now checks in for Prima. Boise State leads at 37-34. Mary Kay. Now Simpson in the corner to Hanson. Bounce pass to Muse. Muse gets position off the glass. Cam finished too strong off the right side of the rim. Wickstrom now dribbles through a two-set screen. Fires to the right side of Tamia. Tamia looking. Fires into Abby. We got a foul. That's going to go on Simpson. That's her third. Yeah, they were fighting down there. They were. They're very physical down there in the paint in this game. Couple of gals in the middle now have uh, foul trouble issues. Both Simpson and Lalat. And now checking in is Trista Hole. And she'll check in for Simpson. Kenley Fault of Wickhouse will inbound for the Aggies. Looking. Gives to Mason, now to Kinley. Kinley into the lane, fires to Abby. Tamia, right of the wing on the screen from Abby, left side. Tamia takes that screen, spins into the lane. Now Kimball. Kimball on the ball fake, draws a foul. That's going to go on Tristan Hole. And that'll be Hole's third foul. No, that's her second foul. That's going to go on Muse, I apologize. That is on Muse, but that's her second foul now. Foul trouble is going to be something that we have to watch. Absolutely, here in the half. it is. Yes, good point, Kyle. First free throw is good. 35 37. I should say 37 35. Boise State leads it with 542 remaining. Second. Good. 37 36. Been a good one so far between the two squads. Here's Hansen. Now, right side is Osley. Mary Kay holds. Now, gives a hole. And uh, Hansen now inside the Muse off the glass. Ooh, nearly missed the layup. Gets it to go, though. And 39-36 lead for Boise State. 5-20 remaining here in the third quarter. Yeah, Abby Wall there took the gamble and tried to go for the steal and, and didn't come up with it and cost him there. Bounce pass left to the elbow to Mason Kimball. Kimball holds, looking for help. Gets it to Wickstrom. Wickstrom into the lane. Wickstrom throws one up off the glass. Good. Ice cream scoop with the, ice cream scoop with the left is good. 39-38 <laughs> game. Mary Kay, left side, throws one up. We got a foul. It's going to go on Wickstrom. And there Boise State is, again, pushing on the offense, trying to get down there before the Aggies can get back on defense, and it's resulting in points for them. And that results us into a immediate timeout. 39-38, Boise State leads it with 4.59 remaining in the third quarter. We'll take a break on the Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield. Welcome back to the Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield Aggie Radio and the Mountain West Network. Boise State leads it by one, 39-38, 4.59 remaining in the third quarter. At the line will be Mary Kay Nero to shoot a couple of freebies after drawing a foul on Olivia Wickstrom. As you mentioned, they're pushing the pace offensively, even on a made bucket. They're just going, and I think it's kind of catching the Aggies a little bit out of sorts there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's one way to really try to steal the tempo back after the team scores. You just push and catch the team off guard, and Boise State's doing a really good job of that right now. Freebies from Mary Kay are both good, and makes it a 41-38 ball game. Under five remaining here in the third quarter. Robinson, Oliva, Wickstrom, Kimball, and Wall for the Aggies. Hanson, Narrow, Osley, Hull, and Muse for the Broncos all on the court at this moment. It's a bounce pass to Oliva, right of the wing on a screen from Wall, left side. Oliva, back to Wall on the roll. Now Oliva again. Now Abby. Playing catch, and this one's taken away easily. Mary Kate stinks in from behind, able to make the steal. She'll shovel right side to Hanson. Hanson, skip pass to a three on the left of the wing from Osley. That's no good. Boy, she had all day to think about that one, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, a little too much time, they say sometimes. Kind of scares you when Osley gets that good of a look. Yeah. If you're an Aggie fan, Robinson, entry pass inside to Mason Kimball. Got a reach in the cookie jar. It's going to go on Osley, and that's her first foul. And that is, are you kidding me? Is that a bonus? They are. Yeah, Boise State's in the bonus. Foul, it yeah. is. I will send Kimmel to the line to shoot a couple of freebies with 419 remaining and the Boise State Broncos leading 41-38. There's been a lot of fouls going on in this second half. First up, first good from Kimball. Mason Kimball, the graduate guarder, 5'11 out of Webster, New Hampshire. And now Mary Kay Narrow walks all the way to the left side of the corner on the other side of the court. Oliva traces her step for step. Osley, excuse me, uh, Hanson brings it across timeline for the Broncos. 
Hands on a jumper from the right of the elbow. Short, no go off the front of the rim. Mason Kimball fights for position in battle of the basketball. Kimball into the lane, finds Olivia. Left of the wing, high above the arc. Olivia behind the back. Now needs help. Bounce pass to Kimball, all oh, oh. off of her knee. That's a lazy turnover from the Yaggies and into the hands of Hull. Here's Hanson into the lane, throws one up. That's no good. Hold the rebound, hold it. Mary Kay, that's glass, good, and the foul. That is a bad turnover to have at that time. 43-40, Boise State. With 3.47 remaining and a free throw coming from Mary Kay. Yeah, I mean, you got to limit those turnovers, especially, yeah, like you said, that was just a silly one. Just bounced right off her knee, just didn't quite get her hands under it. Free throw, good. That is a big pencil that moment in right now. It was a one-point game, and the Aggies had possession of the basketball, and that unforced turnover results in a three-point play on the other end with 3.47 remaining and a 44-40 lead now for Boise State, their biggest of the afternoon. Oliva, right of the wing. Oliva finds Mason, left wing three. That looks short, is short. Burley Graves in front of the rim. Mason did look chase down the rebound, though. Nice hustle from Mason. Now it's Oliva, inside to Abby Wall. Abby, position, glass, no good. Ball tipped around into the hands of Muse. Hansen finds Osley. Nice catch, right side off the glass. Blocked away, it's going to go out of bounds and back to the Broncos. Osley... <laughs> Gets up, looks at the official, and says, no, no call. <laughs> I mean, I, I, that was good defense by Robinson. A little physical there, but great great to stop the shot and at least get their defense. I set. will say this. The officials have been very consistent on the officiating tail. I think, I think they've done a wonderful job in that regard. Ossie's jumper's no good from the right side. Fraley on the rebound. Brings it across timeline. Fraley shovels to Oliva. Oliva, clear space. Yep, that is a foul. Absolutely. Oliva trying to clear space, does so with an elbow against Osley, and they're going to call a foul on Chris. And that goes back to the Broncos, 44-40, and by the way, 10 turnovers on Utah State. You just got to take a deep breath, got to uh, maintain control, maintain poise. Yeah, you're still in the game. Still it's a four-point four point ball game, still yeah. third quarter. Don't let frustration seep in. Right side is Osley, right of the wing, now finds Mary Kay. Mary Kay, the hole. Still above the arc. That's where the offense is rolling right now for the Broncos. Hanson, Osley, straightaway three. Look out. Good. Osley pumps her fist as she runs back to the other side. It's a seven-point lead for Boise State. Boy, that turnover with 347 yeah. that resulted to an and one play is just massive right now. To me, it's jumper. Good. It is a two. 47-42, two and a half remaining. Boise State still with the lead. And got an offense. We got a foul. Sorry, it's going to go on wall on the bump. And that's going to send the Broncos to the free throw line. For Wall, that's her first personal. And uh-oh, Tamir Robinson on the ground, in writhing in pain. I believe she's giving or grabbing her right leg. Jen Berg, the trainer, will come out and take a look at her. Not sure exactly what happened. I didn't see it. Yeah, she is grimacing in pain, and they're going to... Send both teams back to the bench to huddle up. And they're stretching that left leg. This would be big. I mean, yeah, Maggie's already, not good. already down. Yeah. A lot of players. And Robinson has 14 points in today's game. She's a wing scorer for both teams. She's really been the catalyst in this one. Coach Yard's going to come out back to the huddle and talk with them. Now you, you got to figure out a way to be able to, if you have to, finish this game without Tamir Robinson. He's getting her leg stretched right now. She might have cramps. Can't really tell. The way they're bending it, you, I mean, it's nothing serious, which is good. Yeah, I think she might just have some cramping issues. Ooh. Currently a 47-42 ball game. And Boise State will be at the line to shoot a couple of free throws. Where they are 5 of 6 of the line. Aggies are 13 of 14. To me, it's still on the ground, by the way, being worked on by the trainers. And she'll be helped up by Jen. She's going to walk it off underneath her own power. That's good to see. Yeah. Yeah. 
So checking in for Tamiya will be Kinley Fultz of Wickheiser. And at the line to shoot will be Muse. Muse has got eight points, three, seven from the field, two of three at the charity stride. Has a chance to end on a couple more. Spring it back to a seven point game, which you can make both. 2.27 remaining here in the third quarter. Don't forget, Aggie men's basketball, they are in Boise, Idaho. Big one over there. By the way, first one is not even close. For Abby Muse, she just shakes her hands like, huh? Did I shoot that? <laughs> happens bad. to the best of let us. Me, let me try that again. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, it's happened to me a ton, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Second one. No good in and out. Primacellis on the rebound. Aggie men's basketball will go on in action at 4 4 o'clock pregame. Here's Kinley on the three. No, front of the rim. Boy, that would have been big for the Aggies. 2-18 remaining. Boise State basketball up by five. Mary Kay. Dribbles by Prima into lane. Bounce pass to Muse. Reaching the cookie jar. It's going to go on Kinley. Kinley's second foul. And that's going to send the Broncos back to the line to shoot free throws. I mean, if you're, if you're going to foul anyone, I, I, I'd Try say Try to send the one who yeah. just missed two. Yeah, <laughs> I, that might be the best person to foul. Again, men's basketball taking on Boise State inside of the uh, – Extra Mile Arena. That game begins at 4.34 o'clock pregame. Scott Gerard will be on the call on this very station. TV-wise, I'll be on FS1. Second one, no good. Misses four straight. Prima on the rebound. Atlas to Fraley. Fraley into the lane. Tries to split a double team. Ball bounces into the hands of Oliva on the right of the wing. Oliva. And we've got a reach in. That's going to go on. They're going to call an offensive foul. Boy. Tough call there. That for the is Aggies. a very tough call. Tough that's break. Gonna, that's going to go on Mason Kimball and back to the Broncos. So <laughs> Broncos with the basketball. Here's Mary Kay, top of the key. Now it's Hole. Left side is Hanson. Hanson holds. Skip pass to the right side. Mary Kay drills into the lane. Finds Hanson. That's a three. No good. Prima able to chase down the carry him off of the rim, and here come the Aggies once again. Third possession in a row. See if they can get a shot off. They really got to convert on this possession. They really got to get something, some kind of shot, at least free throws, something. 90 seconds remaining. Aggies trail by five, 47-42. Kinley in trouble and has it stolen away. Pass is all thrown away, and Oliva is able to go chase it down. Intended for Osley. Oliva's going to bring it across the timeline. Osley step for step with her. So Oliva now will reset on her third-year head coach, Kayla R. on the offense. Oliva dribbles into the lane. Now will stop, needs help, fires to Mason. Mason, she'll go and give a try, and her shot is partially blocked ball on the ground. Aggies on the brown. Ball is loose still. Mary Kay is able to trace it down. Give it to Hanson, left of the wing under a minute remaining. Bounce pass is picked off by Prima Chellis. Good hustle there. Boy, a little jungle ball going on from yeah. both teams right now. Prima. Full speed into lane, spins to the left, throws one up, and it can't oh. finish, but we'll go in line and shoot two free throws. Now, who's that foul on? This is going to be Q key here. That's going to go on hold. That'll be her third. Yeah, I mean, foul trouble for both bigs and on both teams. Like, this is going to be really interesting to see what the coaches do and how they change their scheme going into the fourth quarter. No kidding. 47-42. I think that score has been there for quite some time. Utah State has four turnovers over the last three and a half minutes. And Boise State in a scoring drought of 2.06. Prima's first free throw is good. Again, once again, Mary Kay Narrow walks the other side of the court, and Kinley Fultz of Wickhouse will trace her all the way there. Second from Prima. Nope, short it. But uh, Mason Kimball's able to tip it all the way back out where Prima chases it down. Prima, ooh. Mary Kay Narrow snuck in behind, got a steal there. Now Fraley, top of the key, 30 on the sh uh, me, 30 on the game clock, 10 on the shot clock. And they don't got a lot of time. Prima's already resetting the offense with six, five, into the lane. Her shot is blocked by Muse, steps out of bounds, goes back to the Aggies. And I believe shot clock goes to 20, doesn't it? Because she had possession of the basketball? No, three on the shot clock. I think, yeah, I just think they're just going to leave it at three. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. 22 on the game clock, three on the shot clock. So three seconds here. Kinley's going to inbound. Finds Mason, her pullaway jumper, flat, no good, and rebound by the Broncos. 15 on the game clock here in the third quarter. Broncos lead it by four. Be nice if the Aggies could get a stop here. 
Into the corners, Aussie. She's got a wide open three. Front of the rim, no good. Mason Kimball on the rebound. Two on the clock. Mason needs to let it go. Fires from above half court. Ooh, nope. Too strong off the backboard, and that's how we end the third quarter. Going into the final 10 minutes of play, Boise State 47, Utah State 43 on the Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield. Welcome back to the Mountain West Network. It's been a dandy so far between Boyd State and Utah State. Broncos lead it by four, have possession on the ball as we go into the fourth quarter. Mary Kay narrow to the left side of the hole. Good ball movement from the Broncos thus far. Hanson, a bounce pass into the lot. Stripped away, ball on the ground. Kinley's able to grab it. Shovels to Mason Kimball. Kimball brings it across timeline. Fires to Prima. Prima now. Fraley. Fraley. Makes a play action, reverse layup off the glass, can't get it to go. Oh, good Kyle. luck, good luck. Just unfortunate, it does not fall. Mary's layup is no good. Abby with the rebound is able, nope, no shot. Smart foul by, I believe, by Chris. Nope, that's going to go on. Yeah, it is going to leave a foul before the shot. And we'll give Boyce State possession of the basketball. He's still trailed up by four to the Aggies. 47-43. Broncos with possession. Hansen will inbound. Does to Austin. Pump fakes a three. Now it's Hansen. Dribbles towards the baseline. Now fires to the corner. Here's Mary's K for three. Good. Oh. Aggies have had so many possessions to try and cut this lead into, into half or even to two and have not been able to do so. And finally, Boise State is able to hit a three. Make it a 50 to 43 ball game. Nine minutes remaining. To me, Robinson will check in on the next dead ball. Kimball holding underneath the arc, left of the wing. Hands to Oliva. Oliva, ooh, nice job keeping the dribble alive when she hits the ground. Oliva spins to the right, throws up a floater, can't get it to go. My goodness, but good looks. Just not falling for the Aggies in the last little while. Right side is Osley, inside of the wall, wide open layup off the glass, and good. And I think Coach Arden wants a timeout, yep. She'll take it, you'll use a 30. 52-43, biggest save for the Broncos, eight and a half remaining, and I believe that will use up to a full. It will, we'll take it as well. 52-43, Boise State leads it with 8.34 remaining here in the game on the Aggie Sports Radio Network from their field. Welcome back on the Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield, Ozzie Salveson, Kyle Brinsley alongside. Uh, Aggies... <laughs> Man, I've had so many chances to either take the lead or extend the lead or even cut this deficit in half, and Broncos have been able to uh, thwart the opportunities. In fact, they lead it by nine as Boise State. 52-43, eight and a half remaining here in the game. Aggies have been from the basketball. Oliva takes a contested three. Back rim, no good. Five for the rebound goes where? Utah State. Puts up 20 on the shot clock. Again, Kyle, I just can't emphasize enough the opportunities the Aggies have had. And either unforced turnovers or just I don't know, layups and shots that just won't fall for the Aggies. Yeah, it's just it's just, they're they're just so close, and it's just unfortunate that it goes that way. But that's the game. Sometimes that's how it is, and you just got to keep playing and keep keep going. Uh, Shy of Kloffenstein, there we go. We got a reach and foul. It's on the ground, and three Bron Broncos were around her, clawing for the basketball. That foul is on hole. I believe, yeah, that's her fourth. By the way, Wickstrom and Kloppenstein each got four fouls as well. To me, Robinson will inbound for the Aggies. Finds Wickstrom, wide open, right wing three, no back rim. Prima Cellis gets a rebound. We got another foul, and who is that? Is that going to go on hole? It is. She's done. She's fouled out. Not very happy about that. Ah, she'll walk to the bench, and in for her is Abby Muse. And Muse, I believe, has three fouls. All sorts of people in foul trouble here here in the fourth yeah, let's quarter. Just assume everyone is at this point. <laughs> Bounce pass to Prima. Fakes with Olivia into the lane from left to right. Goes to the right side of the glass. Throws one up. Draws a foul. That one's going to go on Muse, and that's her third foul. No, a lot. Now hold on. Is it Muse or a lot? It is Muse. So Prima at the line and uh, have a chance to knock down a couple of free throws, and they need them both here. Free throw first is, nope, in and out. you got to be kidding me. Aggies are so good. Free throws up to this point. They've missed their last two. 7.56 remaining in the ball game. The Aggies trail up by nine. Second. Good. Eight-point ball game. 
Need stops and need a run here for the Aggies. Hanson, Muse, and thrown out of bounds intended for Aussie, a little bit too wide of her. And we'll go back to the Aggies here, down eight with 7.50 remaining. Now you need buckets. Yeah, this is a time where they need to capitalize. Absolutely. They, they stopped Boise State. They need to get some points here if they're going to claw their way back into this one. To me, it'll bring it across timeline. Now to the left of the wing. Bounce pass to Ashaya. Ashaya at the free throw line. Dribbles into the lane. Throws one up off the glass. That's good. Down to six point game. 52 46, 734 remaining. Hanson brings it across timeline. Left of the wing. Now it's Muse at the top of the key. Finds Osley right of the wing. Osley inside of Lalot. Lalot. Kick to the corner. Hanson for three. Looks good. Is good. Hanson buries a triple and makes a pack to a nine point game. Yeah, the Aggies gambled there. They, they, they tried to pull the double team, but unfortunately it left the person wide open, and she nailed it. To me, Rompton on a bounce pass to Ashaya, being guarded by the lock, goes into the lane, stripped away, gets it back. Once again, we'll try. Ooh, got contact, no call. And as Ashaya hits the ground, the lock takes the rebound. Now let's say hey, uh, Hanson straight away for right side. We've got a reach in the cookie jar. And that foul's going to go on Robinson. That is her second foul. Hanson will inbound. Finds Osley. Nice pump fake. Now pulls up on a two-point jumper. In and out. No good. Ball tipped around. And Mary Kay comes away with it. Fires to Hanson. Boy, offensive rebounds. Big for Boise State right now. Who lead it by nine. 55-46. Six and a half remaining. Left of the wing is Hanson. Looking at the lot. Now fires. Ooh, tipped off Muse into uh, Aussie's hands. Now back to Hanson. Left of the wing. Dribbles up to the baseline. Knocked out of bounds. And with two on the shot clock. You don't want to foul here, Kyle. Boy yeah. State has possession of the basketball. That's the last thing you want to do right here. Do no not foul. foul. Yep. Hanson inbounds. Lobbed to Muse. Wide open on a jumper. Hits the side of the backboard. No good. Tamiya. On the catch, fires to Olivia. Had a, ooh. And we got a kick ball, yes, as Osley on a bounce pass from Olivia to Ashaya. You probably want to lob that instead of bounce passing through traffic, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Especially Not since you have the height advantage. Lobbing it with a better pass option for sure. Simpson's now going to check in for a lot. Now the Aggies really need to score here because if you're watching the clock, the time's running away. Yeah. They're, they're running out of time, and so every possession needs to be a score. Something positive. Olivia on the catch on the inbounds pass goes into the lane. They're going to call a blocking foul. It's going to go on Simpson immediately. And for her, that's her fourth foul. And now the lot checks back in and Muse checks out. High advantage for Boise State either way you look at it. As Wickstrom goes in line to shoot a pair of freebies. First one, good. Second one from Wickstrom. Good. 55-48. She doesn't waste any time, does she? No, no. <laughs> just like a dribble spin and let's just shoot it. She, she knows how much time's left. <laughs> Hanson on the left of the wing. Aggies trail up right now by seven. Again, you need stops immediately and buckets even quicker. And we got a foul that's down. It's going to go on Prima trying to run down the lot. And Prima, that's her second foul. So Hanson will inbound. Simpson, Osley. At top of the key is Hanson. Hanson holding, being guarded by Tamiya. There's the screen. Now Hanson dribbles through it. On a lob is Simpson into the lane, off the glass. Good. What a wonderful executed play. play right there pick, by Hanson. A little pick and roll action. Absolutely. Well done. Down to, again, a nine point lead, five and a half remaining. Trellis takes a jumper, left side of the backboard, not even close. Osley on the rebound, hands to Hanson, and Broncos are more than happy to oblige and run clock here. Yeah, no urgency for them. Nine-point lead right now, just over five minutes left. Entry pass into the lot. She's hacked hard by Tamiya. That's going to be a foul. It's going to send the lot to the line. And Tamiya and, uh, and the lot both feeling that one. 
And Lalotte, who is... Has she shot a free throw yet? No, has she has not. I don't think so. Has four points on two or three shooting and five boards for the Broncos. First one up. First one. No good. 57-48. Abby Wall's going to check in now. 5-17 remaining. A lot. Second is good. 10-point lead. Prima Cellis checks out. Abby Wall checks in. Prima Cellis, 9.39 shooting. Here's Tamiya. Brings it across timeline, being guarded by Mary Kay. Tamiya. Bounce pass into a Shia, who tries to gather position now. Fires back to the top of the key to Oliva. There's a three on the way. Back rim no good. Front of the rim now. And Aussie's able to chase down the rebound. Aussie's going to slow it down, as will the Broncos. And into Hanson now with 4.50 remaining in a 10 point ball game. Osley, Mary Kay, Simpson, left to the wing Hansen, into the block to a lot. She fires the jumper. The blocking foul is going to go on Olivia. And that will send a lot back to the line to shoot another pair of free throws. And that does it for Olivia Wickstrom, who finishes with four points on one of eight shooting, three rebounds. And that draws us into immediate timeout as well. We'll take it. 58 48. Boise State has the lead. It'll get free throws. Natalie Fraley will check in for Olivia. When we come back on the Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield. Welcome back to the Aggie Sports Radio Network. 58-48, your score with four and a half remaining in the ball game. Boy, and I mean, we go back again. You and I just talked about it at the break. Uh, it's a one-point ball game, 41-40 Boise State. We're on the side of the court. Aggies have possession of the basketball on the offensive rebound. Olivia then on a bounce pass. Hits Mason Kimmel in the knee, turns it over to Boise State, goes on the other side. Mary Kay gets a bucket and the foul, makes it a four-point ball game, and the Aggies just have not been able to regain rhythm since then. It's crazy how momentum can really just shift the entire attitude of the game. First free throw from Lalotte is good. Hanson, Simpson, Nero, Austin, Lalotte on for the Broncos. Robinson, Oliva, Fraley, Wall, Shia on for the Aggies. Second, good. Man, this is really going to be heartbreaking because the Aggies were in this one. But give credit. Give so much credit to Boise State, Kyle. Just surviving the storm early in the get-go. Nice backdoor pass to Fraley off the glass. Can't finish the layup. Mary Kay Nero and Fraley five for possession of the basketball. And it's going to go to Hanson and Boise State. You know, give credit to Boise State for just weathering the storm, hanging in there, trusting their offense, trusting their defense so they get stops, and giving themselves a chance to get back in this game. I think that's a sign of a good, mature basketball team. Osley straight away three is no good from Fraley. Or sorry, not from, wow. <laughs> Osley straight away three is no good. Fraley on the rebound, I apologize. Fraley, entry pass inside to Shia Glass, good. 60 to 50, under four minutes remaining. Need to see some urgency from the Aggies defensively now here, don't we? Yes, yes, no points, no fouls. Time is going to keep going, so you really just need to stop right here to get the ball back in your hands. Hanson above the right of the wing, high above the arc, gives to Osley. Now top of the key, Mary Kay. Mary Kay and Hanson left of the wing. Now it's Osley. Osley with six on the shot clock. Hanson a lot back to Osley. Osley, now it's Simpson, three, front of the rim, no good. Ball on the ground. Oh, they're going to give it back to Boise. Oh, that's a tough Um. Hmm. That's tough. Well, Adriel Molina has a better view than I do, so yeah. I'm going I'm <laughs> to give yeah. her the credit we'll, we'll of the doubt. Her. 60 to 53, 21 remaining. So that's exactly what the Aggies didn't want to happen. They really yeah. needed to get that possession because now Boise's going to have at least another 20, 20 seconds, seconds to you're right. the clock. It's a great point you bring up. Hanson picks up her dribble, gives to Osley. Now it's Simpson. They're just, I mean, you're right. They're just going to dribble time off the clock here. Hanson with eight, seven, high above the arc steal on a screen from the lot with four, three, switches to the left side, goes into lane, throws one up, got a hack, and she can go to the line and shoot two. It's just like everything you don't want to happen 
is happening. Yeah, and now you, now we, uh, you, you give up points here, assuming that Hanson makes both freebies. Yeah, there's only two seconds left on the shot clock oh, as well. It's that's a killer for Utah State. It's a tough sitch. Hanson's first, good. Maya Hanson, the 5'9 freshman out of Billings, Montana. Boy, she is a very good basketball player. She's got a very bright future ahead of her for Boise State. they got to be thrilled to have her right now. She's been wonderful in today's game as well. She's got eight points on six assists as well. And here's an entry pass inside the wall. we got a charge. We're going to call it. Coach R shakes her head at the call. Scott Freeling makes that call, and it's going to go back to Boise State with under three minutes now, 2.52, and a 62-50 ball game. Prima Chels going to check, sub in for Abby Wall. Inbounding as Simpson does to Osley. No one picks her up, though. Osley spins away on the left side. Now is trapped in the corner. Gets a bounce pass to Mary Kay. Now it's Hanson. I think someone's supposed to trap right here, and nobody did. Yeah, it definitely miscommunication. They're not on the same page. It's kind of chaos out there for Utah State on defense. Simpson straight away. Boise State running clock. Nine on the shot clock. Eight, seven, six. Here's Hanson with five. Right side with four. Now stuck in traffic. Throws it away. Goes back. Yeah, there you go. Wait, it's either going to go out of bounds or shot clock violation, whichever you choose. Goes back to Utah State with 2.22 on the game clock. Aggies still trail by 12, 62.50. Mason Kimball's going to check in. Go time is now. Oh, well, she's going to try to check in and get there in time. So Timmy Robinson is going to bring across timeline. And you're right. Got to start getting buckets and stops here. And, ooh, toss away to a shy nearly. Gets through her hands and escapes. But instead she's able to go chase it down to Oliva. Robinson now right of the wing. Robinson dribbles it away off of her feet still. Oh, nope, off of a Bronco and single back to the Aggies. Kimball will check in for Ashaya. 62-50-202 remaining here in the game. Tamia looking to inbound. We got a foul? We do. Sixty-two fifty, two oh two remaining. Out don't who's a foul on by the way. I went on Osley. Osley, yeah. That's her only her second foul. Again, don't forget Aggie basketball continues with the men's basketball team playing at four thirty four o'clock pregame with Scott Gerard on the call in Boise, Idaho. That's a that's a massive game for both teams. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fun. Fun game to watch. Meanwhile, in Mountain West basketball for women's basketball, San Diego State right now down by eight, 74-66 to UNLV, 234 remaining in that game. Osley on a trap. He's able to find Mary Kay. Now all alone is the law. The law into the lane, lays it up good. Air Force trails Nevada by five, 52-47. San Jose State down by 10 to Fresno State, 32-22. Here's Tamiya. Aggies trail by 13. 138 remaining. Tamiya tries to find Prima. Knocked away out of bounds. Still Aggie ball with 19 on the shot clock. Later on tonight, New Mexico, actually, sorry, are already finished. Colorado State beats New Mexico 76 65. Here's Mason Kimball. Oliva, deep three, right side of the glass. In fact, I don't even know if it hit the glass. And rebound by Boise State. And Hanson brings it across timeline. That will probably about do it here. Yeah. Hanson, Mary Kay playing catch. Right of the wing on a, nope. To me, nearly knocks away. Hanson gets it back. Now it's Osley. And I'm telling you, there has been no pressure at all on Osley. There it is. Oliva now bothering Osley. Eight on the shot clock. Osley's able to fight out of it. Finds Simpson. In the corner is Mary Kay. She'll take a three with three on the shot clock and hit. And that will do it. 67, 51, 59 seconds remaining. And I believe this is a 30. Yes. Aggie women's basketball will continue next week as they got a pair of games in the span of three days. It will first begin at Nevada at 2 p.m. and they'll head to Fresno State on Monday evening at 5.30 to take on the Bulldogs inside a safe, smart center. Um, look, the score is going to say it's a double-digit game. 
But the score doesn't really tell you how good of a game this was between both squads. Yeah, it it, it was real competitive, and, and, and I mean Utah State was really in it. They've played very well. Uh, they just let let the game really get away from them, and just couldn't convert any opportunities. Kind of just went cold. I mean that happens in basketball. That happens, and, and you got to keep your head up and you got to bounce back. Uh, but the Aggies should be proud. They've played very well so far. Just unfortunate the, the the way the flow of the game went and the missed opportunities and just not getting stops and and it's hard to win basketball games but you, you just got to bounce back and keep going and learn from your mistakes. Here's Fraley on a skip pass to the corner to nobody, unless you want to count Coach Art as a player on the court, which unfortunately she's not. She was open though. Yeah, she was wide. Open. <laughs> 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 right idea, but uh, <laughs> wrong person. Coach can't play. Now Boise State's going to call a timeout for a 30. I think they had some confusion on the inbounds play. In fact, Simpson's coming over to Osley to talk to her. And they'll gather up and have a quick conversation with 54.6 on the clock. 67-51 to score. Boise State leading Utah State. Again, men's game tonight should be a good one. Boise State, Utah State inside of Extra Mile Arena in Boise. Uh, Utah State trying to continue their undefeated ways in conference play. They're having a heck of a ball season as well, aren't they? Yeah, they, they're they having a good season. I, I'm really excited. That's, a, that's to say the least. And Boise State, well, I mean, Boise State inside of their own place is tough to beat. Yeah. Now it's going to, in fact, I've uh, been told that it's a near sellout for uh, this afternoon's game. Surprise, surprise. By the way, men's basketball, San Diego State right now leads by three over Wyoming. Colorado State up by 13 over Fresno. And Nevada beat San Jose State by 27, 67, 40. Here's a reach in the cookie jar that's going to go on to Mia. And that will send, I believe, Hanson to the line. He will shoot some free throws. First one, good. 68, 51. Second good. And I believe I just heard full timeout. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. Full timeout it is. Let's go ahead and take it as well. 69-51, 52 seconds remaining on the Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield. All right, welcome back to the Spectrum here in Logan, Utah. 69-51 is your score right now with 52 seconds remaining. All pretty much said and done here. Aggies have possession of the basketball. Left of the wing is Fraley. Fraley holding now puts down a dribble. Inside bounce pass to Mason Kimball. Go to the right side off the glass. Can't finish. Rebound by Prima. Can't get it to go as well. We've got ball on the ground. We've got a reach in. And whose ball is it? It's Utah Aggie's State. ball. Gives the fault of Wick Kaiser for three. Pinks it Ooh. in. 69, 54, 38 seconds remaining. We got a foul, and that's going to go on fault of Wick Kaiser. 69, 54, 36 seconds remaining. Mary Kane narrowed the line to shoot a couple of freebies. First one's good from Mary Kay, who is 15 points tonight, 5 of 8 from the field, 2 of 3 from 3, and a perfect 4 of 4 at the charity strike. She also has 8 boards, 5 assists. She's touched every bit of the stat line. She's been phenomenal to this afternoon for the Broncos. Here's Tamia, brings it across the timeline. Tamia now gives to Prima. Ooh, Prima nearly carries with it. Goes into lane, left side off the glass, good. 25 seconds on the game clock. And Osley, the Aggies showing a press here. Gives to Mary Kay. Mary Kay is going to just run it out. And Fault of Wickheiser fouls with 14.6 on the clock. 
Send Mary Kay back to the line. Shoot another two free throws. Seventy-one fifty-six. Fourteen point six remaining. Free throws good. Free throw good. Seventy-three fifty-six. Tamia on a dribble, fakes the handoff with Kinley, goes inside to Mason. Mason now steps, and with four on the game clock, needs to get rid of this one, can't. Prima, Prima into the lane at the buzzer, lays it up, no good, won't count. And that will do it. Gordy Presnell picks up his 115th Mountain West Conference win and is now solo in conference history in head coach wins. Congratulations to him and Boise State. As the final score here from Logan, Utah, 73-56. Boise State wins it over Utah State. Want to sign off to the Mountain West Network listeners. Want a big thanks to uh, Jake Link and Taylor for all their help today and putting together today's broadcast. For those who want to stick around for postgame, do so on Aggie Radio on 92.3 on Aggie Sports Radio Network from Learfield.